Mulholland Drive is an extremely complex film that has so many different details that it can easily have many different explanations and interpretations. With that in mind, I have decided to share an explanation of the film that I feel holds the most merit. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use only one name for the two lead characters. Naomi Watts' character will be called Diane, and Laura Herring's character will be called Camila. The most plausible explanation of the film to me is that the first two-thirds of the film is a dream of Diane and a small portion and the end is Diane reminiscing on her past and the final scene is Diane's mental breakdown. In the dream, she fantasizes about her ideal life, relationship with Camila. In the dream, she is an aspiring actress who has yet to be tarnished by Hollywood and gets acting roles because of her talent and not because of anything else. She and Camila love each other deeply in this dream. This is in a heavy contrast to how her life really is, which is shown in the last part of the film. I believe we exit her dream after this scene. Diane then proceeds to make some coffee and sees Camila. However, this isn't the real Camila, as she in reality is dead at this point. And at this exact moment, Diane begins to remember her past with Camila. In the past, we learn that Camila doesn't really love Diane, and that Camila more than likely slept her way to the top. Camila at one point invites Diane to a party where it seems like the only reason she invited her was to make her jealous by announcing her engagement and she seems to get great joy from making Diane feel jealous. This is also hinted at in a previous scene, but this could also just be from Diane's jealous point of view. Distraught by Camila's actions at the party, Diane proceeds to hire a hitman to kill Camila. After that scene, we are back in the present. Diane continues to stare at the key and kills herself. The film then ends shortly after. In the end, Mulholland Drive is a fantastic character study of a failed actress who reaches her breaking point. Do you agree with my explanation for Mulholland Drive? Comment down below if you do or don't. Also, what are your thoughts on the film itself?